Hello guys, this is Ashit and welcome to my channel. This channel will be mostly focusing on hands-on on Big Data Hadoop as well as AWS Cloud Computing. So before heading to the content, please make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon to never miss a video. So let's get started. So when this uh, video will be working on connecting RDS to EC2 instance and inst EC2 instance have, would have WordPress running inside it. So let us talk it. To get into a management console, run EC2 instance, create an EC2 instance. To create an instance over here. We select any of the free tile AMI and as this is a tutorial video and we're not going for any correction kind of stuff so with this user data we can have a dashboard so that we don't need to write anything and after uh, EC2 instance creating EC2 instance we don't need to do all the stuff again and again so is this now add storage. Let's find what this calls we have in default. And while computing security group, add a rule HTTP. Since HTTP is required to gain the internet access, and so as WordPress would be running on internet, we need to have an HTTP. So you can choose a or create a new one. We will create a new one. Created this so, instance. So, this is the instance we have. Then, okay. So here our instance has status changed to running and we have to wait for the status check to get 2x2 two two. and 2x2 uh, two two means one is for instance check and another for system check. So done so let it be we should wait for a while until it gets 2 slash 2. So here our status check has changed to 2 slash 2. So we have to copy this IP address and let's check whether the WordPress is WordPress front page is coming or not. So we have this. So let us go for making a database which would be connecting. So this is creating an RDS over here. Uh, let us create a new database. <coughs> we'll go for standard one because we don't need to configure anything. As uh, easy create, you need to have some configuration as per the users. So as it is for practice purpose, we'll be using standard create. And the engine type would be MySQL. And here also would be using free tire. So uh, don't get so much billing. So we need to give a name to this identifier. So this give is let me give my name. What is if shit mention a password eight letter password. Sure, we can give 21. We don't need a lot of 
minimum value is 21 GB. We're fine with this. Uh, we're in connectivity section. We need to do some changes over here. So we need to create a new PPC security group. Uh, let us be WordPress SG. Okay. Uh, an additional configuration also we need to give a database name and always remember that database name and uh, database identifier are two different things don't get confused over it we don't need backups over here because we aren't doing anything we will have to create databases oh where this allocated storage minimum 20 we can give 21 over it over at 22 and always remember that maximum threshold storage should be greater than the storage you are giving allocated storage so we need to wait over here this is creating we need to have the available one then we can see over here what things we have got main We have a security group, WordPress security group over here, which we had created. So let's get into it. So here we need to edit the inbound group rule for the security group. Inbound, editing it, add a rule, MySQL error. And the source would be security group for the instance you have created recently. Launch with 11. I have launch with 11. Just check it out. Create save. After this has been done, just let's check it once again. Okay. And with this. So let's move. Now let's move to WordPress and let's check it out all this creation of databases and all those stuff. So we have given over here okay. And in the database host, you need to give that DNS name which you had brought while creation of your RDS. As you can see, We'll be having an endpoint over it. This endpoint would become your DNS name. And we'll be having over here. Okay. So before going into it, we need to have an instance running in our putty server. So after setup, you will get us this code which we need to write in our VI editor. And the easy to instance or uh, server which we have created in the putty server. So let's get into it. Set up the server which we have. So let's go to the easy to instance. First of all, we need to get that key to the file. Now, let's 
then we'll be getting from This is a nudge of the logician, Rose Lark, Lucas BBK, so here we have got this third connection. Login as EC2 hyphen user. Navigating the super user. Now, what we need to create, get into this slash fire for an HTML file slash html okay. so here we can find some files which are already present so we need to get into wp config which was already mentioned php So I have answered. Okay. Okay. We need to copy this whole thing. Okay. We need to copy this score. Right click. It's done. Escape. All in WQ for save and quit. And then, so here we have now to run installation over here. And tra, we have done. Can give name to anything. If you name anything, close. YouTube, for example. Okay. Are you gonna use a name to your? Install WordPress. Look at, we have got our WordPress installed. Now, what we can do is uh, just create what is the name you have given. Okay, but we have messed uh, we have an Ashit. Suppose cut right. Yep. So we're into the dashboard. And to the WordPress, and yeah, we can customize according to what your requirements and what you need to do, you, what you want in your website, and all those stuff. 
As of we have created and installed WordPress, let us check whether the MySQL, which is it for data or WordPress or not. So first of all, we need to install MySQL. Install MySQL. I have already installed over here. First of all, we need to go, wait. Sorry, we need to go back to the root user. Now, here we need to install our young MySQL. done this so let's get into the make the connectivity with our sql and wordpress so here is the code which we need to write as my sql hyphen h h is the host name which we'll be giving and we'll be getting it from the rds so Endpoint which we have given that's this one only we need to write copy this one and paste it and we need to give a port that is as we know for mysql it is port capital p 3306 and we need to get the username which we had mentioned while creation of the database that is, i had given us it and slash hyphen p which is our password so we need to enter the password which we had done at the time of creation of which we had uh, done with the creation of databases okay. i had entered the wrong passwords that's why it was not properly so right now we need to so uh, apply the database queries mysql queries and we can see the databases which are present in so we have got our databases which are present we can use us for and you can also check what are the tables present inside the table as a database which is connected to the wordpress and here we can see that at the time of creating wordpress there was an index name were given below prefix name sorry there was wp and these are all tables which are inside as a database so now we can look into the database of users to the table we can give a query for select w users and here's way here Similarly, we can perform any of the queries. SQL. Similarly, we can perform any SQL queries on it and perform our operations. Thank you. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please hit the like button.